Yesterday, I, I watched a clip where young people were trying to castigate us. The ministers of the gospel, they said, we prayed for the rains to come. We now need to pray for them to stop if we believe we have power. I say before you, we will stop them. I say again, we will stop them. We are not stopping the young men. We are stopping the rains from killing people. Elijah prayed and there was no rain for three years. And he prayed and it came. So we have the power to start and to stop. And today, in the name that's above every name, I announce from this altar that the rains must stop in Jesus' name. No more casualties if you believe, say amen. amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not repeating that. Sit down, please. That's a prophetic decree. And it shall come to pass. Amen. Lift up your hands as we magnify our King. Heavenly Father, in the name that is above every name, we thank you this hour. We bless your holy name. We thank you because you've been with us. You protected us. You've been on our side. Even when things and circumstances were not friendly. In this hour, I pray that everyone that is here under the sound of my voice may be lifted higher than the, when they came in. When they leave this place, they will be enriched and they will be more powerful than they were before. Thank you, Lord, because I know nobody will step here today and go back home without a blessing. We cover our children. And I know there are things that are going on in the country, including the floods. That we are watching every day they are taking people. But today, as I stand here, I pray that you use me as an instrument of nobility to stop everything that must be stopped. In the name that is above every name. We bless you and we worship you today. In Jesus' name we pray.